Hello everyone, I'm Aaron Kanapik and welcome back to part three of three of our video series on using Quizlet to have students play their way to virtual engagement in your class. Now on part one of this series, we looked at how to actually create a Quizlet set or diagram using this create option here and then study set. And in part two, we looked at these study activities that students will be interacting with um, as they get better um, with learning and mastering the terms that you do have in your Quizlet set. And now in part three here, we're going to look at these three different play activities as students literally play their way to virtual engagement um, using any device with an internet connection, um, especially with their cell phones using the Quizlet app. Uh, this is a great thing to recommend to your students, um, and they can do this anywhere they are, because uh, we, we know that nowadays students are usually attached to their phones, um, and so this is a great way to have them um, be engaged and learning, um, even if they are learning from home. Let's go ahead and click on match here, and we'll get started with this first game and examine how your students will be playing their way to virtual engagement. It says to make everything disappear, and so what students will be doing is clicking on the term and then finding the appropriate target point here in the diagram or the definition if you're not using a diagram. And so as they go ahead and get the correct words matched, they will disappear, but if they choose incorrectly, it will flash red um, and show them uh, that they need to fix um, that term or definition. And so once they do that, they will see their score um, with how much time it took them to complete that game. And here's the leaderboard where we're introducing competition to the fold here as they'll be competing with their classmates to get the lowest score possible. Let's go back and we'll next look at the second activity here, which is Quizlet Gravity. We will go ahead and click on Gravity and it will bring us to a page that says, protect the planets from incoming asteroids. So when they click on get started, they'll have to decide whether they want to answer with the term or definition. Um, usually it can be best to answer with the term because with smaller devices, um, answering with the definition um, can be more difficult. Also, it's very hard to answer uh, the definition word for word, letter for letter. And so in most cases, choosing term is best. And I'll usually prompt my students to start with easy. And once they do that, it says watch out for the red asteroids, because if you miss them twice, they'll destroy the planet. So that adds an element of suspense here. Um, but as the asteroids come down and the definitions are in them, the change of a substance from a liquid to a gas once we type in the correct word that asteroid will disappear and you'll notice that my score went up um, and this is what happens as uh, as students destroy more asteroids and they type in these terms their score is going to get higher and higher but if they do not type the word in or if they incorrectly type it in well the asteroid is going to hit the planet it will prompt them with the definition and even give them this correct answer and as soon as they type it in the game will resume and they'll see more asteroids coming. So students here in this game are playing their way to virtual engagement by destroying the asteroids before they hit the planet and trying to get the high score in the class. Last, we have our live game. But what you'll notice here in live is that you do need six unique terms in your set to play live. So luckily, I do have a set on standby. We'll go back to this completed stocks and bonds set and you'll notice with 22 terms, I can click on live and then as the teacher, I can decide whether or not I want my students arranged in teams or as individuals. Um, usually students really do enjoy playing in teams. So I'll usually go with that option here and I'll usually go with answer uh, with the term instead of answering with the, the definition when it prompts you with how would you like to play with smaller devices. Um, sometimes it can get a bit congested uh, to have all of the, the, the definitions displayed on a phone or mobile device. So I'll usually click on that first option. And here we have the Quizlet Live lobby page where you are given this Quizlet.live URL. That's where you're going to want to st uh, tell students to go to to join your game using that game code there in the top left corner. They can use the QR code or you can copy this game link and, and put it in your LMS. 
Um, but the easiest way is usually having them go to that website and type in the code. Once you have four more players, you can then create your game. And what will happen is students um, in their teams, their teammates will see the same definition and they, one of their team, teammates will have the correct term. They will all have terms, but only one of them has the correct term. So they're gonna have to work together to figure out who has the correct term. Now, something you can do to really accelerate virtual engagement is I actually will use Quizlet Live in tandem with Google Meet. And if you use Google Meet, um, you may have seen this option here in the top right, activities and breakout rooms. And you can even have students join these breakout rooms. Um, you can organize them and drag and drop them once they're in your main call into the appropriate breakout room in tandem with the Quizlet Live game or vice versa. You can even um, have them join the breakout rooms first and have Google randomly put them in those rooms. And then with the teacher account and Quizlet Live, you can also have them join a specific team on the Quizlet Live game. So either way, this is a tremendous way to accelerate virtual engagement even with students at home i will have my students play some of their teammates are in the classroom some are at home but they're talking they're collaborating and they're engaged with with each other as if we're all together um, using quizlet to play their way to virtual engagement be sure to like comment or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.